I have it. I made a second company to try and help other people get Achilles. So first thing you want to do off the beginning of the round, go straight to this wreck station here. Grab ammo. And this round is going to be defend armory. This is the easier one with um, covenant. So you see those explosive things. There was like a blue little like lightning bolt. Shows you where they're spawning in at. If you stay relatively on this side of the map, you can see where they where they're spawning in. Just throw a grenade at that spot. Take out all their shields and everything. So then we're gonna look for the next one. Right there. Throw grenades at it. Spawn kill all of them. There's another one up there. Get a grenade on it. Stuck, I stuck a grunt. So I'm out of pistol ammo. I'm going to go back inside to grab the... Uh, grab some more ammo. If you can, try to pick up plasma grenades off the ground like that. Try to look for them, try and pick them up, so that way you can throw grenades at the next set of spawners. So you can try and clear them out as fast as possible, get these rounds done quick, so you can get as much XP as possible per hour. Jackals, you want to try and shoot them in the hand, so then they flinch backwards, and then you can kill them. All right, that's the end of the round. All right, so as soon as you beat first round, you want to rush up to the building up top. Do not stay down low at that base. You will pay for it later if you do. I'll show you why if we get one of those rounds. That shows you. Nope. So if, uh, if you have one of the bad rounds, they spawn with ghosts down there and they will destroy you. So since we got soldiers and I have three wrecks, you're going to want to get a ghost. So get a ghost. That way you can just splatter them. Just splattering uh, soldiers is like the best, uh, best option for this. So I'm going to drive all the way around to get up on top. Of the base over here. Just bladder them all. And keep in mind shields don't regen, so I should have gotten out of that situation, but that's okay. We will go back and we will. I can get a ghost ultra. I'm thinking next rounds. Long term, the wasp might be better. Granted, you can't really splatter with them, but you can still kill Prometheans relatively quick. The soldiers. Alright, so now that the round is over, we just want to put in damage on as much things as possible so you can get kill credit for them. And I have seven wrecks. So, first thing that I want to do is get away from teammates so they don't steal my vehicle, first of all. Get to a wreck station, put on wheelman so you have increased damage resistance. So, armor mod and wheelman. I'm going to see what the, uh, what the round is. Round three, eliminate Tomp. All right, so I have I have seven wrecks, so this will be much easier. Sometimes you only have three wrecks for this round. So if that's the case, go to your power weapons. Um, if you only have three wrecks, grab a Sentinel Beam. Where is that bad boy? Right here, Sentinel Beam. Shoot him in the helmet. Um, if you can afford uh, end game, grab that. But since I have seven wrecks, I'm gonna go to Halo 2 Beam Rifle Delta, and I'm gonna use this. Um, with all of these weapons, what you want to do is you want to shoot Tomp 
in or the grunt mech in general in the, the top part of his shield on his uh, on his head so right there um, and you want to melt that shield off as fast as possible so a sentinel beam same thing once you get that shield off you should be able so the shields off now shoot him in the head and then he's dead fastest way to kill grunt max right there melt that shield off as fast as possible and then shoot him in the head all right so with the hunter round like this one you're gonna want to get a vehicle like a wraith or a tank or if you can afford it get like a phaeton or something kill hunters as fast as possible Or a Banshee. Banshee is a good one too. The Banshee Ultra is best because it um, does so much damage. The only thing that... The only reason why I didn't grab like a tank or something is because of limited mobility. Getting around the map. If you're in a tank, try to focus on the ones that are on the ground. If you're in an air vehicle like I am here, try to focus on the ones that are up higher that the ground vehicles can't get to. And I'm trying to keep my distance because the hunters can kill Phaetons very quickly, so. I'm just going to keep my distance here so they don't shoot at me. Hunters, where are you? He's hiding. Respect the play. If you can, we'll try to shoot him in the back in that orange spot. Kills hunters the quickest. <laughs> you didn't know you could do that. That's great. All right, and then I'm gonna try and get kill credit for anything and everything that's on the ground there. If you shoot at him when the round is ending, you get kill credit for him, so. Realizing you don't survive long without a vehicle? Yeah, it's because your shields don't regenerate in this. Alright, so hopefully if you survive that last round in your vehicle, you can just use it again in this round. Um, all the vehicles that I named for the last round are all very, very, very useful for this round. And definitely the best options for this round. Because this round is going to be Hunters. Again, but they spawn on the inside of the base over there. So the ground vehicles are better for this. Um, oh, he stuck me. What a stick. Ground vehicles are better for this. For sure. And I'll show you why in a second. So if you have a tank, you bring the tank to this wall here. You come out like this, and then you, you strafe back behind that wall. Which I'll show you in a minute, because that hunter just destroyed me. I'm going to go to vehicles. I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab the Oni Scorpion so we can just try to end this round as quickly as possible. Yeah, because the Hunters hit really hard in this, so you want to have a really good vehicle. And you want to have that strategy that I was just talking about so that way you don't take damage. Make sure your Wheelman is on. That's what I was checking. Make sure my armor mod for Wheelman was on so I have damage... <laughs> Increased damage resistance.
All right. All right, so I'm going to drive over here. Once I get to this section, I'm going to spin the spin the tank around like this and back up to this wall again. Like I was talking about. And then what I'm going to want to do is I want to come out and then go back behind the wall. Strafe out, shoot, go back behind the wall. So that way if they do shoot at me, I'm behind the wall and I'm protected. Teammates blocking me here. <clears throat> if you look where the tank reticle is, you can see those little bars on the side of it that are recharging. That is your your bullet. So you can shoot again when that's fully recharged. So I just kind of time my movement with, uh, with being able to shoot. So that way every time I come out, I'm shooting and then I go back behind the wall. <clears throat> All right, on to the next set. Same thing, but I'm gonna stay right here. This is my favorite spot with this tank. So that way I can just shoot through here and then I can also do the uh, the wall strafe if they start shooting toward me, which they are right now. I should be able to solo these, kill the rest of them for the team. The Oni Scorpion penetrates through one to the other so I can kill them at the same time. Perfect. That, that was a well-played mythic round for me. All right, let's see how long that took us. Like I said, we want to shoot for 12 minutes or under. That was 14 minutes. A speed run is like 12 minutes-ish or less. That's what you want to try and go for. But since I had the boost on, that gave us 16,000 extra XP. We got a total of 32,000 XP in 14 minutes beautiful that's what we want right there and then 5,000 rec points as well so 5,000 rec points is one silver pack so making huge gains